know it's Ann for Once Up Family Home. I thought I would give you just a little tour of my garden and show you what I've got growing out here. I want to give you a, I wanted to give a tour, have it all nice and pretty, have my signs up on the fence and things like that, but I don't know when that's going to ever happen. So I thought I would just give you a tour. That duck over there doesn't want me to give you one, I guess. But I've still got a little bit to clean up, but other than that, Everything is pretty much done. I've got, I've got, um, I can't remember what you call them, these chips down on the ground. They're not wood chips. I think they're like pine bark, like mini pine bark nuggets, something like that. But it's so much better. Doug put plastic down, so hopefully that will keep the weeds out. I just had some landscape fabric down and that did not work at all. It does not last long at all. So I kind of start over here. I ripped up, I did have like an old washboard here with the bottom that it didn't have a bottom on it and I had it just sitting there and it was on some cement blocks and it just got too many weeds in there. So I just yanked it up. This is a potato that I got for dinner. <laughs> This is Jackson's tomato. We planted that and it's looking a lot better. I moved it over here from over there beside of my compost pile. It's not all cleaned up. So I don't wanna show you everything, but I've got potatoes over here. I've got different kinds. The, the ones I dug up today look like Yukon gold. I don't remember what's what, but I did have some purple ones over here and just a mix of different things. And I really did not plant enough potatoes. This is all the only potatoes I have on this side. I do have some more over there, but those are, I think, white potatoes. I'm not sure. And I've got beets. You can see some of them are a lot larger than the other ones. The I planted this whole bed the first time and not a lot came up. The big ones here you see are those that came up, but other than those, I had to replant and I soaked them in water and look how good they came up this time. There's just so many of them in there. I don't know if I should thin them out or not. I'm gonna leave them for right now, but they look really good. I want a lot of beets. I love pickled beets. So hopefully I won't really need to thin them out. I'm gonna try it anyway. That's just some yarrow. I might need to replant that and maybe move it in the front yard because it's taking up my space for my garden. And it's been so hot. I've had this time here for for like five or six years and it finally died for some reason. I don't know how. I mean, I hardly ever water it, but I hardly ever watered it years ago. <laughs> I've got some cilantro here. I cannot believe it's still going, but I think it's getting ready to bolt. I've got peppers here. I've really got to water. I tried watering a little bit today, but it was just too hot and uh, I just ran out of time before. I just couldn't stand it. I had to go back in the house. And here are my tomatoes that I meant to get to and I just never had time when I got COVID. I've just recovered from COVID. So I'm finally getting back out here and getting everything done. And I think these are, one of the red Red Beauty. I've got a mix of different ones out here. I didn't have time to plant any seeds, so I just bought them from my Ace Hardware. Look at this rosemary plant. It's huge. I really, really need to move it somewhere because it's taking up valuable space over here, but it is doing so good. But it's like dying on this side, and then it's, it's growing really good right here. Here are my potatoes. I think these are all white potatoes, if I'm not mistaken. I really didn't have time to label a whole lot. I just threw the stuff in the ground. But I know that's these are potatoes. And I have been taking the stray flowers. I think these are zinnias that are over there. And I'm just putting them in here. And they're, they're still alive. Got a tomato plant here. These are some extras. I've got a weed over here. I've got some flowers hanging. I need to water those, make sure they don't die. All these are tomatoes over here. 
and this bed is a sorry excuse for some collard greens the bugs are just all over them so i think i'm gonna pull them up i think i planted them too late they should have probably been planted earlier but you know places don't sell them and i really early and i did not have time to start any seeds so those are pretty much ruined I'm hanging on to my cabbages though. Hopefully I can get some cabbages. Some of them look really good. That one's really tight, got a tight head on it. And like this one is like eaten up. Just different, at different stages. And I did, they didn't have them marked. So I just threw the things in the ground and hope for the best. So I did get some zucchini, uh, I did get some cauliflower and they turned purple for some reason. But I'm just gonna let them go a little bit longer and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it and cut my losses. <laughs> I've got one cabbage there that's like a cylindrical head. I can't remember the name of it. And I don't know if it will, if it will be able to develop a head like that one there, I don't know. I'll get a few cabbage. I don't know how many, but <clears throat> the bugs are just killing me this year already. And these are turnips. And these are looking really good. I've got I've got turnips down here. I need to, to pick some because I don't like mine really big. Seems like they get a little woody. Um, there's a good one there. right there. I'm going to go ahead and pull those. The leaves even look pretty good compared to most years when they look they've got holes all in them. There's a few holes but not that many. And he my sunflowers always go to seed and they always come back the next year so I've got sunflowers here that I don't have to that I don't have to plant. So I always love sunflowers. Those are my favorites besides my hydrangeas. So I've got cucumbers here. I've got these three from Ace Hardware. And I thought that my seeds weren't gonna come up, but I see three, three down here that are coming up. I did plant more, so I've got to water these in and keep these watered until they come in. But I've got like a cattle panel here cattle panel here that I'm going to run them up. I've got flowers here that have came back. We redid this whole area here, so I've got all my stakes and everything there when I make my bean tower. I made, Doug made me one last year out of the bamboo poles, and we'll do that again this year. I've got some grow bags this year that Look at these tomatoes. They are doing wonderful. They look better than the ones in the ground. I've got Biltmore here. I've never grown I've never grown Biltmore tomatoes before. I've got these tomatoes are coming in really good. These are fantastic. I've never heard of those, but they were at Ace Hardware, so I bought those. I've got two tomatillos. I'm going to have to stake those up. I've got a Mr. Stripey. These are some of my favorite tomatoes, these Mr. Stripeys. I have two of those. These are really the only ones that I've labeled and Mountain Merit. So those are looking really good. And these Tomatoes, I think, are Mountain Fresh, these four here. And I've got some coming in. They're looking nice. And all the other ones I don't think I have labeled. Some of them I do and some of them I don't, but I have this whole thing with tomatoes. This one is Early Girl. And there's some more of those flowers. I had this whole, this whole bed of zinnias, not last year, but the year before, and they're still coming up. So 
So all of these, I've got a lot of tomatoes, this whole thing. And these are not Romas, but this whole row right here is just Romas. Uh, they did really good for me last year. So I planted a whole lot of Romas because you can do a lot with those. And they're looking really good. And I have a couple more here. I think these are cherry tomatoes that my sister-in-law gave me. I got one there and one down here. And I have some peppers in these grow bags here. This is a cool jalapeno, jalapeno, so it's not gonna be hot. So I can mix these with the regular jalapenos that I've got. I can't, I don't know where that is yet, but that way I can make my cowboy candy and make it a mix so it's not so hot. This is bee balm. Here are more cabbages that are not looking the best because of the bugs. And what I did was I made a mistake and when I saw the butterflies, I covered it up with some fabric and all that did was protect the, the worms and things and they just went crazy. So I'll never do that, that again. So I've got different kinds of cabbage, some more of that cauliflower, that looks terrible. I'm just gonna give up on, look at that. There are already some little crawly bugs over there. I'm gonna go ahead and get that out of here. Got some Napa cabbage that has been eaten by the bugs. Look at that. <laughs> I'm seriously thinking about just pulling this all up because I'm just tired of fighting with these bugs at 90 degree temperatures. <laughs> This is, I think, the, the jumbo jalapenos, I'm pretty sure. I got a jumbo jalapeno and I got a cool jalapeno. So hopefully those will keep me in jalapenos for my cowboy candy. And this is broccoli. I'm just letting them grow these little shoots because they are really good. So I'm just going to have these for probably the weekend and then I'm going to pull these up and these are going to be where my green beans are going to go. Probably both of these are going to be green beans for my with my towers because these two spots were green beans last year. I'm trying to rotate. This was my tomatoes over here last year. And then I moved them over here. I forgot to show you that. I have a strawberry plant in the middle that just came up. And I've got some okra seeds and some beet seeds sowed over there. So coming back over here are my squash plants and my zucchini plants. The, the zucchini are doing wonderful. They are huge. I've got four plant or three plants. I had four plants of squash and they are dying right here. I'm pretty sure the squash vine borer is in there, if you can see that. I went to Ace Hardware and got a couple more plants. I saw that 1870s homestead try something, so I'm gonna try it and see if I can get some squash. I have squash here, but I don't think it's gonna survive. I've got that little squash right there. And hopefully I can get it to stay alive until until it's ready. I do have some cute some zucchini over here that'll be ready in a couple days. I've got I've got a pepper plant over there. And one over here. I do not have a marked. I don't know what's what, but I do have some Anaheim and some jalapenos. One more pepper over here. I'm not counting those bell peppers over there. And now I've got my onions. These are looking so good. I thought I had them too close together, but I think they are doing really well. So I'm excited about getting some onions. I had a big harvest two years ago. It was amazing. Yes, last week, last year, it 
it wasn't as good, but I think I'm gonna have a good harvest this year. And I even have a volunteer potato over there. Well, that's my garden tour. I still have some okra to come up and my beets, and also I need to plant those other squash, but other than that, it's pretty much finished. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.